Hey, what's going on? We're going to look at the Ten Commandments. Nobody's going to tell me what to do. Dude, people tell you what to do every day. What's the difference? I don't listen unless there are people with authority. You mean like mom or dad or the teachers or the bus driver or just about anyone else we meet? Yeah, well... You don't think God has any authority? Moses is the one who gave them to us, and I heard he broke all ten of them right off the bat. Okay, but he didn't write them. God wrote them on stone so we couldn't just change them. I bet they were heavier than these. What do you mean, so we couldn't just change them? Well, we don't like the rules. We vote to change them and make new ones, like the speed limit. It's gone from 70 to 55, up to 65 and back to 70. You would think it would be set in stone, so to speak. I just ignore them anyways, so they don't concern me. I don't think I want to ride with you. I mean the Ten Commandments. They're all just a bunch of gibberish. Those are Hebrew letters. They have been translated to English you know. Well, I've never murdered anybody anyways, so I'm okay. Jesus said in Matthew 5, 21, 22, You have heard that it was said to those of ancient times, You shall not murder, and whoever murders shall be liable to judgment. But I say to you that if you are angry with a brother or sister, you will be liable to judgment. And if you insult a brother or a sister, you will be liable to the council. And if you say you fool, you will be liable to hell to the hell of fire. Huh. I seem to recall you. Okay, okay. Maybe I'm not perfect, but who is? Jesus! Truth be told, we've all probably broken several of the commandments. Is that why we need to study them so we know for sure how doomed we are? We need to study them so we live better lives. But we also need Jesus because we cannot be perfect. But through him, we can be forgiven. Even for insulting our sister? Even for that. Done.